In beta WoW, there were shields and bucklers. Rogues and hunters could use bucklers, but they later removed them and rogues and hunters couldn't equip shields anymore. There were still bucklers in the game before Cataclysm, but they were just labeled as shields. For a short while, all pole arms were called spears. The best level 60 warrior DPS item was a pair of level 49 male gloves, because they had weapon skill bonuses on them that greatly reduced the chances of glancing blows. There is an NPC next to Harris Pilton in Shatran City named Rikol Nichi that is only viewable by priests who have the Eye of Divinity trinket equipped. In BC Beta, there was a quest reward dagger in Netherstorm that dealt arcane damage instead of physical. It scaled with spell damage, so for a short while, mages could hit really hard in melee. PvP trinkets were class specific and only removed three forms of CC depending on your class. For example, for priests, it would only remove fears, stuns, and polymorph. For hunters, it would only remove stuns, roots, and slows. And for druids, it would only remove charms, fears, and stuns. The very first legendary item that dropped was a necklace called the Talisman of Binding Shard that dropped off of Baron Geddon. It was later removed from the loot table, but the player who got it was allowed to keep it. Warlocks in Alpha and Early Beta used to wear leather armor. The emblem of Triumph Vendors at the Trial of the Crusader portal are named Easy Mode and Face Roll. They are jokes by Blizzard about paladins being easy to play, which was very true before Holy Power was introduced in Cataclysm. There is an axe called Arcanite Reaper. This weapon was infamous during vanilla because of its 3.8 weapon speed, almost being as slow as you could possibly get with the 4 seconds being the max, which made it extremely powerful in the hands of warriors and enhanced shamans. It's now the heirloom axe we have today.